Hey there, beautifuls. Hey there, handsomes. Oh my goodness. I'm really, really excited to be kind of on a semi-regular Facebook Live schedule. Um, and I'm really excited to be going on kind of later at night when you guys are snuggling in for the evening and have a little bit more time to engage and talk. So talk at me. <laughs> um, my name, for those of you who don't know me, is Carly Myers, and I'm the founder of Positivity Studios, um, that is a piece of Positivity Studios, or for short, APOP Studios. And what I wanted to go live to talk to you guys about tonight is how to be more productive at work, at home, you know, um, just about anywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, it all really boils down to two really, really great tools. I would say like kind of psych psychological tools in moving forward in your life. So the first tool was developed by Mel Robbins. So if you guys don't know her, you should definitely go check out her TED Talk. Um, and it's called the five second rule. At the end of the day, this rule is basically a rule that helps you launch into whatever task is at hand. It helps kind of prevent this procrastination mindset. Um, the whole idea is that you count backwards from five, launching yourself physically in one way or another to to uh, achieve the task, whether it's, you know, five, four, three, two, one, I am physically moving to get out of bed so I don't hit snooze five times, right? Um, or it's like five, four, three, two, one, I am writing this thing on my to-do list so that I can do it later. Um, it's whatever it is that's gonna help you make that first move. Um, in your life and being more productive and um, just moving forward, creating that forward momentum for yourself. So that's just a tip to get out of produ uh, procrastination and, and to move forward. The real tip that I want to talk to you guys about is really related to the tomato timer. Um, how many of you guys have heard of that show of hands, show of likes, um, hearts, wow faces? Um, the tomato timer is a really great tool to use when you're trying to be your most productive self. That's basically, traditionally it's been, you know, like a 20 minute timer where there's no distractions. You are literally delving in. You are like, I am determined for the next 20 minutes. I will not click over to Facebook. In fact, Facebook won't even be open. Um, and I am just doing the thing that I set out to do. And at the end of the 20 minutes, you get a five minute break to do whatever the hell you want to do, whether it's lay on the floor, where it's, whether it's scroll through Facebook, whether it's go to the bathroom, whether it's make a cup of tea, you know, whatever it is that's just, that you're like, your internal self is like pulling you to do during that 20 minutes, the five minutes is for you. Excuse me. <laughs> now that's the traditional. So you would do like the traditional version of the tomato timer, the use of it would be 20 minutes on, Five minutes off, 20 minutes on, five minutes off, 20 minutes on, maybe 15 minutes off. And then you start over again until it gets to the lunch hour or to the dinner hour and then you take your full, right? Um, what I'm going to suggest is that you get a little more creative with your tomato timer. So, um, for instance, like I had a spreadsheet to get through today. I had to get through all of these updates and it was a long spreadsheet. I think it had like 300 rows. And I just made internal agreements with myself. I was like, you're gonna do 20, 20 lines of updates, you know, 20 lines, and then you can, you know, watch one cat video, <laughs> one two minute or less cat video, right? Um, or like 20 minutes and you can look at your phone, or 20 lines and you can look at your phone. For, but there was always a limiter, right? It wasn't like 20 lines and I'm gonna go disappear into cat videos for three hours. Get creative with yourself. Another thing that I did today, um, as an example, is I did, um, like for those of you who have hour lunch breaks, I gave myself an hour lunch break today and I said, 40 minutes of this break, I will be productive on something for me personally. And if I do that 40 minutes, I get a 20 minute walk. So I worked on this project for 40 minutes, moved forward, felt really good, actually got into flow, ended up going for 45 or so minutes, and then still went on that walk and took that break and then jumped back into my work. So. The tomato timer is really good at helping you say, okay, I only have 20 minutes left. I only have 15 minutes left. I only have 12 minutes left, whatever. Um, so that you're more willing to work undistracted. Um, so 
if you don't, you know, if you're not familiar with the tomato timer, you're like, what the heck is this? Sounds weird. It sounds simple. I should have known this. Um, check it out. Google it. There's t there, there are a ton of tomato timer apps, tools that you can use. Um, and if you want to use the concept abstractly, you can certainly do that too. Um, but yeah, if, if you're skeptical, try it. If you, if you think this idea is, is cool and you want to give it a try, try it. Um, I think this is a really, really good tool for everyone. People who are struggling with the afternoon, you know, sluggishness, the afternoon distraction, wanting to go on Facebook, wanting to do this, wanting to do that, but really wanting to, to, um, give to the world, give to their organization that they work for, maybe the company that they run, um, a better bang for its buck. So, um, really check that out. And if you're feeling like, oh my God, procrastination is getting the worst of me. It is really, you know, I'm not a woman of my word anymore. I'm not a man of my word anymore. And I really just want to achieve more in my life, whether it's at work, whether it's your passion projects, whether it's, you know, making dinner every night. If you're really struggling with that and, um, you just don't know where, you, where to go next. You feel like you've tried everything. Let me know. That's what I'm here for. Um, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one strategy session to figure out what is the next best move for you. Because I know that really at the end of the day, not one size fits all. And I'm all about coaching creatively to help you move forward. And if you're wondering why the call is complimentary, it's because I love learning from you guys. Um, so Anytime I'm able to help you, I'm also able to learn from you. So um, on the house. And then the other thing I wanted to mention, and I have to put the link in uh, in the comments here, is that I have an event coming up in Pittman, New Jersey at Float Haven Health Spa um, this Saturday. I'm going to click over to make sure I get the name right. Um, it is How to Find Work That Fills Your Wallet and Your Soul. Um, and it's a talk where we're going to be interactive and really just working through how do you find work that really fills your wallet and your soul? What does that process look like? It's a four step process. It's simple. And how can we, you know, put that and develop that and move that into your life so you can really move forward. So that is this coming Saturday at Float Haven Health Spa at 2 PM. It's about an hour and a half long event. So it'll be nice and, you know, short, but enough time so that you can get a lot of content that's going to serve you. Um, and then get back on with your Saturday. Um, I'm going to post the link there. It's $10 a ticket. I really, really hope to see you there. It's going to be a really good chance to get intimate, um, a really intimate connection with me, um, coaching from me. Um, we're hoping to cap this event at, you know, five to 10 people. So grab your ticket now. Grab it, grab it, grab it. I will post the link in the comments. Okay. I love you guys. And as always, I'm here for you if you need me. Okay. Happy Monday.